In my opinion, the planned external and independent review of education revision has been overtaken by events. Events associated with the pandemic, events which have fundamentally changed our world, and not just in the short to medium term. I do not believe that COVID is a blip on the education landscape. I see it as a time from which new perspectives on the priorities of the review need to emerge. In the post-COVID environment that we hope for, the review should prioritise four aspects of education. First, supporting the well-educated teaching profession in our schools. The COVID experience has demonstrated how much society depends on this profession. Any talk of improving the education system is not credible without a focus on our teachers. Second, addressing the challenge of continuing to recruit the best people we can into the teaching profession if we want to sustain school improvement. Third, a consideration of how best to support school leaders and recruit teachers into positions of leadership. School leaders are the people who have the day-to-day -day challenge and responsibility of maintaining and raising standards as well as addressing educational disadvantage. Fourth, encouraging new ideas on teaching and learning with technology and also how to bring the arts as well as physical education back to their rightful place in the school curriculum. Think about the people in education first, not the system. Finally, while we all desire a unity of purpose in educational provision, the existence of different school types in our society should be respected. Such diversity now involves sharing and collaboration, and this should continue. But above all, the Education Review should be mindful of the people in our schools. It is people who change and improve our world, not systems.